Hello everybody! Welcome back to Twofold Tuesday! It's Twofold time and oh my goodness, I, I saw the message rise, I was switching over. I'm so excited that so many people's merch is arriving. I'm, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. I'm, I am so thrilled. Also, apologies in advance, uh, I didn't have time to warm up my voice today and um, I'm... I'm still, I still have that like just woken up kind of voice, even though I've been awake for hours just because I've not been speaking. <laughs> I haven't been speaking, so I might sound a little bit husky for a tiny bit, but that's okay. I gotta hydrate. I, I'm not gonna hydrate. I'm, I'm hydrating myself. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I got beaten to it. I can't find any of my redeems. <laughs> I got beaten to it. I was about to like redeem it myself. Like use my own <laughs> infinite channel points. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Let me start with a with a sippy. Cause it's so funny, I just I sound super tired. I sound like I've just woken up, but I'm actually really awake. <laughs> In hindsight, probably should have spoken of it before starting the stream but do you know what uh that it is fine that that that's past Liri's fault I'm present Liri now <laughs> oh thank you for throwing things at me too see if you spot the the new things there are some new things that have been added to the pool of stuff you can throw at me so I'm, I'm very excited about that <laughs> but uh, let me let me start from the top and continue onwards. That's a that's just a fan. <laughs> Another fan? Why is it why is it why is it going for the fans? Two in a row? We got a sweetie. It's that they're in there somewhere. Hold on. I feel like I should like increase the weighting of them to make them more likely. Oh, that involves like going into the settings and stuff. You'll just have to get lucky. Oh, oh, actually, no, um, there are actually some special new keywords that I've added in chat, which will trigger more items to be dropped on my head. Because I, f I managed to, f to fix that. Um, I, I ended up having to, like, mod the bot in the channel. I, I can't believe you guessed one. <laughs> I can't believe you guessed that already. <laughs> but, uh... But I realized in the Talos stream that none of the, like, the chat redeems for, like, dropping an item on my head were working. And so I, I was looking around for people who had the same problem and they said if you just, like, mod the, the bot, 
then that will add it on like that that will change the permissions for like viewing chat messages and so that will allow it so that's what i did uh, also I, I do plan on adding it for every pride flag eventually but at the moment i've only done two because i was doing it like an hour ago <laughs> i didn't have time to set everything up but there's two there are two two specific ones that can be triggered by saying things but uh i, I haven't added every every possibility yet every option there's the other one <laughs> i figured people are more likely to say gay in chat so that's why i was just like yeah gay that, that that's a good one it's stuck oh there we go <laughs> but yes the the pride the pride hearts are made by barb Barb made them, and they're available for free on... Is it Gumroad? You are welcome to post a link to it if you like. <laughs> but I love them. I love seeing them as well. I love I love seeing them show up. But uh, there, there are some that you can throw at me, and there's also ones that will just land on my head when everyone's shouting, that's so gay in chat. <laughs> Right, but let me like properly welcome everybody as well. I've not gone around to the welcoming yet. I, I was busy with hydration and pride hearts. <laughs> but uh, Bob, congratulations on the first welcome, welcome. Hello, Rika. Here like an, an hour before the stream started. I was I saw you in in chat and I was just like, hold on, I need to I need to test my chat commands. Ignore me, just typing Tetris three times in a row. <laughs> But yes, welcome, Maya, welcome, Behind the Smile, welcome, Akire, welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's having a a good start to the week so far. I was so busy yesterday. I had a really busy day yesterday. And then I ended up having a, a terrifying moment when I was walking home yesterday. I was nearly home. I was like one road away from home and my legs just decided to stop working out of nowhere like there was no warning or anything i just i took a step and it felt like my legs were just going to give way underneath me and i had to very quickly sit on a, a random bollard <laughs> and i was just sat there like oh no am i going to be able to get home am i going to be able to actually walk home like this uh so after about five minutes i, I called xander <laughs> i called xander i was like hey Hey, are you are you busy? Are you busy at all? Um, could you literally walk down the road and help me go? <laughs> and bless him, he came immediately. He was he was like, yeah, I got you. I was like <laughs> leaning onto him. He was like half carrying me along the road as I staggered back home. <laughs> but I made it home, and then I got to lie down for an hour, so that was okay. But oh, Caps, hello! Thought the stream started an hour ago, so you woke up super early. Oh, time zones are so evil. Time zones are the biggest pain. It is such a nightmare, but I'm I'm glad you're here. I'm so sorry my stream's always so early for you. <laughs> but I'm always so happy to see you here as well. Welcome, welcome. And Lan, hello! Lovely to see you as well. And Suzume, yes, there's the the link for the the Pride Hearts. Barb has posted the link, and they are they're free download. It's like it's a purchase page, but you can just pay zero and get it for free. But uh, I'm I'm gonna be leaving a tip later because I I love these little hearts. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, when I get the chance after the stream, my plan is to do it so that any Pride related term that you try type in chat will drop the relevant uh, pride flag heart on my head but at the moment there's only two there's only two but at least for for the lesbian one there are many things that trigger that in chat there's more than just the word lesbian <laughs> there's at least three other words that also trigger that mostly things that i expect people to say <laughs> <laughs> try, try, try women. <laughs> oh, roommates would have been so good. Oh, I should have done roommates. There we are. There we are. <laughs> yes. Good times. Good times. 
Oh, I love them so much, though. I love them. And I made them... I made them a little bit smaller, too. But I noticed that when I made them smaller, sometimes they were flying off the side of the screen without you being able to see them. So it's actually... When you... <laughs> When when you say it, it actually drops two of them, because one of them is very likely to just vanish before you can even see it. Oh my goodness, a raid already! I haven't even clicked load. <laughs> Flint, hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Come on in, welcome in. I just added some um some little chat commands you can type in chat and drop pride hearts on my head by typing gay or women or related terms <laughs> like that but welcome on in i hope you had a good stream oh fire emblem stream fire emblem uh, fire emblem the blazing blade i'm not sure which one that is i my, my fire emblem knowledge is very very limited i've i've played awakening yeah that's the only one i've played isn't it? no i've played three houses as well <laughs> I've, I've not played much. I know a lot of the characters because I, I have a lot of very passionate Fire Emblem fan friends. But I've never actually played them myself. I've played two of them. And there was like another game in between those as well that I, I, I missed somehow entirely. <laughs> oh, the one with Lynn. Oh, nice. Lynn and Hector. Oh, I hope you've been having fun with it. Oh, you bit your tongue too many times, right? Oh, don't do that. That hurts. That hurts. Don't bite your tongue. I, ho I hope it stops hurting soon. <laughs> oh, no, it really hurts. <laughs> well, at least now that your stream's done, you can hopefully stop talking for a bit and give your tongue time to recover. <laughs> Oh, but thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And I'm currently playing Twofold. It's Twofold Tuesday, which is a Yuri visual novel from uh, Studio Elan's uh, Bell House publishing branch. And Caps is in chat at the moment very integral part of the game <laughs> one, of, one of the things that always makes me feel special is like playing a game and then seeing developers in chat I'm like I, I always feel like oh goodness oh goodness I <laughs> I hope you like my stream <laughs> but I've been having so much fun with this I've been having such an incredible time with it very emotional but in like a really really well done way it's just it's just such a good game i'm a little bit scared to continue not gonna lie because there are a lot of um things that blew up we have a lot of unresolved conflict that needs to be resolved because there it, it needs to be it, it just has to be it simply has to <laughs> but I'm, I'm really excited to play more i love it yeah. I, I love I love having the chat commands. I'm so glad I managed to fix it before stream. I was really worried because I because with it not working in the Talos stream, when I literally have the Talos Tetris commands to drop a tetromino on my head, it felt like such a shame not having that showing up while I was playing it. But it's it's all fixed now. I I was troubleshooting. I was I was trying my best to troubleshoot and make sure everything would work. And then after I managed to troubleshoot that, I was very quickly adding in the gay hearts. Like, <laughs> very quickly before the stream started. Like, the, the countdown was like half a minute late because I was still frantically behind the scenes trying to make sure everything worked properly. <laughs> oh, but yeah, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk too. I hope you have lovely lunch. And yeah, the, the Nintendo Direct is in like less than an hour now. I'm... I'm, I'm going to be playing this, so I'm not going to be watching it, but if anyone is watching the Nintendo Direct and there is anything relevant to my interests, like, um... No, I'm just thinking, like, Style Boutique, and I, I feel like that is a, a dream that's never going to be fulfilled. 
But uh, if anyone, if there's any cool stuff in the Nintendo Direct, you have my full permission to talk about it in chat. I would really, really like to know <laughs> what's happening in it. I also like when people just mention the important parts, because otherwise it's just like watching half an hour of, um, and now we have a mobile port of a game that nobody cares about. And now we have something, and it's usually stuff I'm not like super interested in, so... <laughs> When people tell me, I know it's the, the relevant parts. Oh, I'm glad you like the thumbnail too. Thank you so much. Mogu drew it, drew the art for me. The art of me and in, in Olive's, Olive's outfit. And I love it so much. I can never be as cool as them, but... <laughs> But yeah, if, that's that's like if if anyone does want to talk about the Nintendo Direct, so long as it's not like completely overwhelming and you're flooding the chat with everything that is mentioned, that would be a bit too much, and I would probably give you a little cheeky please stop that. But if if it's just like uh, Liri, there's more fantasy life news, like something like that, I I will just that yes yes please. <laughs> Also, I, I'm really excited that so many people have been getting their merch in. Like, Akira just said that you, you, you just said you got your merch in. I'm so excited. I've seen Suzume's posted. I've seen Barb's posted. Mine is still lost somewhere between America and the UK. <laughs> but I'm, I love seeing the photos. I love seeing them. If anyone. If anyone has gotten it and wants to share a photo with me, that would make my day. <laughs> so I really love how they turned out. I, everyone did such an incredible job with them. I'm, I'm just, I look at all the photos and I'm just like, oh, it's, it's what I wanted. That's how I wanted them to look. I love it. I love them so much. It also is just kind of feeding my desire to just make loads of stickers. I just, I just want so many stickers. I want so much sticker merch. I want stickers of everything. I want axolotl stickers. I want Sandra stickers. I want stickers of things that I've drawn really badly. I I just want stickers. I love them. Oh, oh, you got yours the other day. You want to record unboxing it, but you had a peek. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you love it. I would love to to watch an unboxing. That would be so good. Oh, I would. I don't, that, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I'm chuffed. I'm dead chuffed. I'm, I'm being really British now. I'm, I'm dead chuffed seeing them all. But I love it. And I hope people like the sticker book too. The reason I went for a sticker book was because I saw it was an option as a thing. And I was like, oh my goodness, I want one of those. And it's so cute. I love I love how it's printed because I, I think something that surprised a few people as well is the fact that it's printed like front and back. Like there's there's art on the back as well. <laughs> and it's so cute. I love it so much. But oh <laughs> love that I changed the new power up power up icons to please don't. Yeah, I, f I figured like just having like the no entry symbol was a bit too vague and people were still asking about it. Changing it to just say please don't, that makes it very clear that it was like an active choice on my part. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it's the kind of thing I'd love to add at some point. I don't think I would add the on-screen celebration as a power-up option because I currently have on-screen celebrations for raids and specifically only for raids. And I would not want those popping up at random times when I'm not like like in a in a way where it could be like multiple times i feel like that's they're so i i would get so distracted if i was watching a stream and then there was just a random celebration versus a celebration because of a raid coming in or whatever so i just kind of left that one <laughs> but i do like the idea of the the emote gigantify and the message effects i think they're cute and when I have the chance to test things and see how everything works properly, I possibly will enable those. They won't be super expensive though. I, I'd, I'd feel bad like charging too many bits for them. I'd do it like half a dollar or something, like 50 bits. <laughs> but I think it'd be cute. 
it'd be cute, just a little like if you if you want to toss some bits this way. Uh, the the bits are actually what I get the best revenue split for on Twitch. Like I I get more for bits than I do like for subs. Like with subs, half of it is taken, but with bits, especially like if you buy bits in bulk, so you get the discount, it's. Like, it's just a uh, one one bit is one cent. Like, it's a straight, direct, like, conversion. So, bits are actually quite nice for me to get. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just stuck them all and saying, please don't. Pretty please. But I mean, I say that. I say please don't. If anyone really wants to spend a hundred dollars just to do the thing I've said, please don't. I would not really mind that too much, <laughs> you know? Like, I wouldn't understand it, but um, it's it's basically like a, it's it's a fee. It's like, if you're going to annoy me with this thing when I've asked you not to, then you have to pay the $100 fee. <laughs> but it is still there. But yeah, I, I saw somebody else mentioning that they just turned the price to 10,000 bits, like the maximum to stop people using it. And I was like, okay, while they can't be turned off, that's a really smart idea. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> but yes, either way, I'm I'm excited for this this week's twofold because I don't know what's going to happen. Like they have roommates now. Millie is living with Olive, which means things clearly have not been resolved with Caprice yet. <laughs> which very much worries me, but I'm... It's painful because they love each other so much. Like, they're, they're, so, they're family, they're sisters. They said, like Millie said herself, like, no, I love her, we're sisters. But that's what makes it so much harder. Because there's no malice here. There is no... There is There are no, like, negative intentions here. And that makes it so much worse, because it's like, if you're hurt by someone who is being mean on purpose, then you kind of feel justified disliking them, because it, there's a reason to. But if you really care, then you don't want to feel mad at them. Like, if I, I, know, I know for myself, like, if a friend ever makes me feel bad, I'm always then like, well... I feel worse because I know I have to tell them they made me feel bad, but I don't want them to then feel bad. Even though I know they will feel bad for making me feel bad. It's, it's the whole little feelings, everyone feels bad situation. <laughs> but it's something I've gotten so good with as I have slowly grown into a, a an old lady. <laughs> oh, the... It's so funny how ages on the internet are just like, yeah, I'm, I'm basically ancient at this point, even though I'm, I'm still, in the grand scheme of things, relatively young. But the, it, I, I always get so overwhelmed when I see, what is it now? It's like, it's like people born in 2006 are becoming grown adults this year. And that, to me... I feel like time is fake. I don't want to accept that. <laughs> I simply don't want to accept it. I remember what I was doing in 2006 and these people weren't even born yet and I'm like, ah, maybe I am old. <laughs> That's all right. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It's it's so it's so wild to think about because 2006. What was I doing in 2006? The 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 only active thing I can remember about 2006 was going to the Victory Records 2666 tour, which was the Sleeping, the Audition, Bayside, and Aiden. That was a good concert. I'm, the, the first half of that was a good concert. <laughs> I actually, I met the lead singer of Aiden at that concert. I, I, we were, me and my friends were waiting around outside the venue afterwards and we got to meet the lead singer and I got a photo taken with him. And I also got him to sign my shoe. He signed my Converse. 
which I... <laughs> it's so funny looking back on, like, this this guy dressed like a vampire having having these these girl this girl like take off her shoe and be like, hey, could you sign this for me? <laughs> like, what was I doing? <laughs> good memories, good times. Ha. Ah, but yeah, while that was happening, some people who are adults now were not even born. Or they were about to be born, or they'd just been born. They were little babies. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is time is fake. Um, I'm a big fan of emo, pop, punk, alternative, etc. music from the mid-2000s. Gonna do a karaoke stream of that sometime. I didn't actually like mean to segue into that, but it kind of just worked. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that at some point. Uh, on surface, Tenshi, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, how's it going? Nice to see you. But yeah, I'm... I don't know, I feel like with my age, people always think that I'm younger than I am. Until I say, oh, actually, I'm older than you think I am. And then they always think I'm way older than I am. So nobody ever actually, like, guesses it right, which is very funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like most people tend to put me, like, mid-twenties, and I'm fine with that. So I... I'll, I'll just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm in my mid-twenties, thank you. <laughs> I feel like it fits me well, though, because uh, I also... I had a lot of... Um, I feel like I lost a lot of time growing up due to, like, health issues in, like, a myriad of ways. So in that kind of way, I do still feel kind of young like that. Like, I haven't had all, like, the, the life experiences that somebody of my age usually has. You thought I was early 20s. Yes, good. I'm glad. <laughs> That's how I feel. I, I feel like mid-20s. It's really funny because one of my friends, uh, I've I've known him for years and years and years now, but he's always like, I know I met you when you were 25, but you're still 25 to me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm fine with that. Thank you. I feel like a lot of people tend to think that Xander's older than me as well. Like when I do the Family Friday streams and I'm like, yeah, this is Xander, he's my real life brother. He's he's my younger brother. He's younger than me. And a lot of people don't think that. Everyone always thinks I'm the younger one. Especially in real life as well, because he's super tall. So if I'm stood next to him, just looking very small with my pink hair and my glasses and my comfy cardigan, they're like, oh yes, younger sister. No, no, I'm the older one. <laughs> I'm the older one here. It's very funny. But yeah, it, it happens in real life as well, though. Like, when I got my glasses recently, like, it was only, like, a couple of years ago now. But while that was happening, the, the, the staff worker who was helping me was like, Oh, just so you know, if you're a student, you can get a discount. And I just kind of smiled. And I was like, Oh, you think I'm a uni student? Uh, thank you. Thank you. I will accept that. And then and then, I'll, then she looked at my date of birth and was like, oh, sorry. Like, that's the kind of thing you don't have to apologize about. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate too. This is a really late hydrate. I just noticed this hydrate was from like back when the raid happened, but I've, I'm hydrating again now. I'm very good at getting distracted and off topic. If I ever miss something, Feel free to remind me of it. Like, if, if there's a redeem and I've clearly gone on to another conversation topic and I've forgotten about it, then you're welcome to remind me <laughs> that that happened because I probably forgot. I'm very good at getting distracted by things. But yeah, everyone always guesses my age wrong and I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm very okay with it. Uh, you remember a girl guessing your age in a bar and she guessed 30 just because she knew you had a kid? Yeah, I feel like that's a... That's like a, a good hint as well. If, if somebody says they have a child, then you know they're... Then they're not gonna be like... Super, super, super young. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's always so strange for me as well because I... I... I have a Facebook account purely to keep in contact with my grandma because my grandma uses Facebook Messenger and nothing else so it's the only way I can like message her like I need a Facebook account just to message my grandma because she doesn't have anything else 
And I also, I still have a bunch of people who I went to school with on my Facebook. And the amount of people who I see who are getting married, having kids, having two kids. One of my childhood friends recently was talking about her son going to secondary school. And I was like, what? What is happening? What is going on? You're not old enough for that. You're not old enough to have a, a child in secondary school. Hold on. But now she is. <laughs> It's like, to be fair, she did have children quite young, at quite a, a fairly young age. Still not like super young, but she did have children young because like she always wanted kids and she's an amazing mom as well. So it, it made sense. But I see the stuff like, oh, yeah, he's going into secondary school. And I'm like, oh, I have a cat. <laughs> I have a cat. Oh, mind you, though, thinking about it, Tiffany's turning 12 this year. If Tiffany were a human child, she would be going into secondary school as well. She might, she would probably already be in secondary school. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that puts things into perspective in a really weird way now. That's so strange. Ah, uh, your grandma is thankfully on WhatsApp. Oh, that's the, that's the one other thing that she does have, too. But I don't have WhatsApp because I have I have my phone number linked to a lot of VTubery things. And so I don't want the risk of anyone putting my number into WhatsApp and then doxing myself by accident. So I just don't have a WhatsApp account. But uh, I, I have Facebook Messenger for everything else. It's, it's like <laughs> I have my little standalone Facebook account which is not linked to anything which has got cookies blocked with everything which is only on my phone <laughs> like disconnected to so many other things and that is, that's that's how I keep in touch it's how I keep in touch with my mum too most of the time thinking about it yeah like if I want to send my mum a picture or something I will send it through Facebook messenger <laughs> Anyway, I digress. I've, I've been yapping for way too long, as always, as I always do. It's, it is, it's, I feel like it's both a, be a blessing and a curse. I am here. Oh my goodness, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the, the two, twofold bits. Twofold bits. And speaking of twos as well, the, the yapping is okay. Because basically what I've decided is, you know all of the time that I waste just talking about random stuff before I actually play the game? I'm gonna make up for all that time. It adds up to about two hours of me just talking about random stuff before playing the game. So I'm gonna make up that two hours tomorrow <laughs> as part of the, the Studio Elan Bellflowers Relay. We're going to do a relay, all of the, the current Gen 1 Bellflowers. We're going to be doing a, a little stream relay. We're going to be starting with Mari, and then it'll go into me, then it'll, it'll go into Nui, then it'll be Dark Bender, then it'll be Rat. And we're all going to like continue off from the last stream. And each of us is playing a different a different game under the, the Elan umbrella. And so I was like, well, considering I'm playing twofold at the moment, two, two, two stream twofold two stream and just play it again so yeah i'm gonna be playing this again tomorrow as well because <laughs> i was thinking about like trying out one of the demos or something for the games that aren't out yet but i i don't really want to i don't like playing demos for visual novels because in my mind it kind of feels a little bit like a spoiler like i want to wait for the whole game to be out so i can just keep playing it if i play a demo and it ends after one chapter i'm then just sad because I want to keep playing it and it's not out yet. Which is the reason why I don't play demos on stream a lot of the time. I, I wait for the whole game to come out. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Thank you for stopping in, Bob. I hope the doctor's appointment goes well. Thank you for the, the gay hearts. Thank you very much. But yes, uh, there, there are new chat commands. If, if you say gay, it'll drop a pride heart on my head. If you say lesbian, it'll drop a lesbian heart on my head. If you say women, if you say girls, um, 
I think it's women, women, girls, and lesbian are the three for the, the lesbian heart. And gay is for the bright heart. But uh, it's also... Uh, it's it's also added to the throw a thing at me redeem as well. That's like the pool of everything. So you never know what you're going to throw at me. But it could be a pride heart. I added them. Yeah, and Barb made the hearts. They're actually available for free download if anyone wants them. I haven't... I didn't have time to add it to my credits section before the stream started. But I will be adding that as soon as the stream is done to give a link to the, the page to buy them. But, uh... But yes, check out... Check out Barb's page for a link to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly as well, Caps. Mari's such a good hype person for twofold. The the Millie Appreciator 5000. <laughs> it's perfect. It's the perfect startup. Like, starting with Mari's stream, I think she's going to be revisiting Please Be Happy, so that's probably going to be Aspen time, I think. And then raiding into my twofold stream where I I don't know how long Act 3 is I might still be on the Millie route it could work out really well <laughs> going into Millie and then it works out really well as well from there onwards too because I will then be raiding Nue who's going to be playing without a voice where Addy, my model artist is a, one of the developers of that game did all the art for that too so it works out so well it's 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 such a good relay i'm so excited for it i'm really looking forward to it plus there's gonna be giveaways too there's, there's gonna be giveaways so if, if anyone is excited for that it's another incentive to watch <laughs> but yeah i'm really excited for that oh okay can you be olive appreciator 2000 2000 yeah sure y you are allowed that role what would what 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 would my role be in this? I'm just I'm just here like I just want to protect them all. <laughs> I appreciate and love them all, and I just want the best for them. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. No free sneezes, sorry. The only free sneezes on stream are when I when I get caught unawares. <laughs> Mo appreciate the three thousand. Wait, yes, Mr. Mo, I'm here for Mr. Mo. I am I am the the Mr. Mo protection force. Eight. Eight. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Thank you, PG. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me have a sippy. Maybe my role would just be like um, twofold therapist. I'm just the one walking in here. Like, you you need therapy. Please let me help you. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> I'll be here. I'm I'm gonna be here just being the person. Like, you need to talk about this. You need to resolve this conflict there's there's a lot going on in your mind at the moment we can work through it together talk to me <laughs> that's my role ah uh, you're the sobbing mess in the corner covered in plushies of the entire cast oh i think that's everybody <laughs> i think that is everybody too oh uh, yes hydrate after the yapping i need to I'm so sad. I was I was so busy troubleshooting the the item throwing thing. I forgot to make myself a flask of tea today. I don't have my tea flask. It's so sad, but it's okay because I have monster. I have the peach monster. I I got a I got a can of the peach monster, so I'm <laughs> I was about to just say I'm fruity today. I'm always fruity. Yeah. <laughs> The official twofold therapist will be able to buy several yachts by the time they're done. Oh yeah, that's a that's a very very stable position 
as far as jobs go, I think. Right, anyway, without any further ado, let us load. Oh, I love as well that the save file for, like, this scene is called Desperate Times. That really fills me with joy of good times to come. Wait, I need to rename this page. There we go. <laughs> there we go. This page is called Pain now. <laughs> yeah, I love that the one before it is called Meow, especially considering the scene as well. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But yeah, I'm not the kind of person who saves super often in visual novels. Especially ones where you can skip through the text you've read. I, I will generally just be... I'll save when there's like a choice, when there's an option to be made, but otherwise I'll just, I'll just zip through it. But anyway, here we go. Desperate times. Ha! Ah. Yep, what happened last time was we started Act 3, and Millie is now living with Olive. They're living together. They're roommates. And oh, what a be weave! Hello! Oh wow, still Twofold Tuesdays? I'm not even halfway through yet. I don't know why you're saying still. This is going to be going on for a while. I am, I am a very take my time kind of person with visual novels. <laughs> This is going to be going on for, for quite some time. But welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I, we're at the start of Millie's Act 3. And they need to... There's so much conflict that needs to be resolved. Oh, you mean... Oh, you thought I moved twofold to tomorrow? No, I'm I'm just doing two twofold streams. <laughs> I am playing twofold tomorrow. I just... I didn't move it. Because the stream tomorrow is only two hours, and I I want I want to spend more than two hours playing it. So I was just like, well, we'll just have two two fold streams, double double whammy. We got a a two two for two fold two streams, two two lots of twos. My head is so empty. I'm having another sip of my monster. <laughs> Okay. Am I ready? Am I ready? I don't think I I'll ever be think. ready. It's true. I cannot think. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A day of classes comes and goes. I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things, the winter break lingering on my mind, but college is slowly starting to feel normal again. If only that were entirely good news. The sense of normalcy is returning, sure, but... That's due in no small part to the writing club continuing to barely hang on by a thread. I'm not sure why I was expecting some sort of miracle and attendance to pick back up, but those hopes were quickly dashed regardless. I really hope Darren's still coming, though. I, I, I love Darren. I want, I want Darren to stay in the club. After what we... She went through over the holidays, she really needed just one day where the club came together. I knew she wouldn't get it, but I don't know. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. I need so many sippies today. Uh, I need to sit up straight too. I just realized I haven't been, I haven't been getting any posture check redeems. So I've kind of just been slouching and I only just realized let me sit up straight. The the one thing. The one thing straight right here at the moment. <laughs> okay. Millie's still offering to drive me to and from campus, so I'm glad we get to spend that time together at the very least. But I know it isn't the same to her. Just as I'm thinking about how I'm going to kill time until she's out of her last class... The answer taps me on the shoulder. Hey, you busy? Oh my god, I just mentioned Darren. Oh, yes, yes, it's Darren time. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so glad it's Darren time. I'm so ready for Darren time. Am I busy? I'm never busy for you, Darren. 
I want to ask how he found me, but with how much time I spent pacing back and forth through the halls, sorting through my thoughts, I guess it'd be inevitable if he'd been looking long enough. Not really. What's up? I just wanted to poke your brain about the club for a bit. Oh, great. Just, just what we were thinking about, huh? His timing couldn't be any better. Or worse, depending on where this is going. Oh? Yeah. So... Please don't say you're joining the art club. <laughs> His natural shyness is one thing, but the hesitation here feels different from the usual. Enough to put me on edge, at least. It's not gonna last, huh? Don't, don't say that. No, we, we, we can make this work. We're gonna hold this club together with duct tape and dreams. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. The easy answer is no, but I can't bring myself to admit it. Not yet. What makes you say that? <laughs> looks at Tanya, looks at Heather, looks at Millie. Just, you know, the lack of attendance. That's partially my fault. And also some of the others in general. By some of the others, you mostly mean Heather, right? I think it's mostly Heather. You can just yeah. say Heather. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, Heather. He scratches the back of his neck in some mix of resignation and hopelessness. You want to help salvage it, right? Did you have any ideas? I have an idea. How about dropkick Heather out a window? Sorry, that, that was that was violent. That, <laughs> that was uncalled for. Get someone else to drop out, dropkick her out a window. Uh, <laughs> I am D. am D. Hi. What a what a line to join me at. Oh my goodness, hi. You'll do it all oh, fabulous. Yes. I do not condone violence, but uh, if, if you so happened to dropkick Heather out a window, I probably wouldn't notice. Just... <laughs> but hi, I hope you're doing well. Welcome. That's not quite the direction I was expecting. Why do you ask? I don't know. I mean, you helped drag me in there. And I've enjoyed talking to Millie. Yes. I'm not sure if you see it the same way, but uh, I, you know, consider both of you friends. Yes, yes, we're friends. We're friends. Yes. Yes, we are friends. Oh, he struggles to get the words out, but the sincerity of it all is enough to get a smile out of me. I wish Millie was around to hear it. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, you will definitely just slip on a banana peel and then divert all kinetic energy that way. Yes. Good plan. I mean, oh no, look look out for the banana peel. It sure would be a shame if you were to slip on it and fall into Heather and she then fell out the window. <laughs> just a, a little bit of Writer's Club defenestration. <laughs> Good times. But uh, things are going well for me, thank you. I had a really busy day yesterday. But today is... I, I have no... No intense plans for today. Today is a very easy day. And I'm incredibly glad. Because <laughs> I need an easy day. Mind you, I say an easy day. It, it depends how, how this goes. There's still so much going on. <laughs> There's still so much conflict to be resolved. It might not go well, but I believe. I believe in the writing club. Also, Jack, hello! <laughs> what a sentence! <laughs> Righteous defenestration, it's great. I, I love, I love the word defenestrate. I, I always, like, I, I was very excited just now that I gave myself the opportunity to use it because it's the kind of word that you can't really use very often, but it's so good. Like, the fact it just exists in the first place is incredible. Oh, I feel like I need to sneeze again. I'm, I'm gonna... I will be right back one second. I need to... I need to go find some antihistamines. I'm... I'm very... I'm feeling very allergy season at the moment. I will be right back. <laughs>
found one. I found my antihistamines. Hopefully that helps. It's it's great as well having the combination of Tiffany with cat fur, and then also grass pollen. Because the pollen has the pollen counts have been so high recently, and I've I've been noticing it immediately. It's <laughs> oh, I always get hit so hard when allergy season starts, and it's like it's never like I don't have like full blown allergies, but it's it's like I'm intolerant to everything. Like every kind of pollen out there makes my eyes run, makes my my nose run, makes my throat tickle. It's I, d I, I just need to stay indoors, clearly. People tell me to touch grass. I would rather not, thank you. <laughs> I think I'll be okay, but I'm... If, if I sound a bit... In this stream, that's why. I'm, I apologize for the allergies. <laughs> but it's I, it's been so noticeable recently. It's a little painful. But I have antihistamines. And I love it. They definitely help. Anyway. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. And I'm sure she would too. Yay. With the offer open, I'd be a fool to not at least discuss it. I lean myself against a wall, trying to put my thoughts in order. I've been thinking about it a lot. You can probably imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. And I've got nothing to show for it. Oh. <laughs> I love the way he said that. They're just like, oh, the not quite what we he was expecting to hear. <laughs> His sigh is immediate. I say I don't know what to do, but there is one small thread I haven't pulled at yet. I'm just afraid to see what happens after the initial tug. I have someone we could ask, though. Maybe. Oh. As expected, the door's unlocked. It's dead silent on the other side, too, so it's definitely not because of an ongoing lesson. Oh, they're going to the art club, aren't they? Oh, are they, are they going to ask a priest? I, I think they may be going to ask a priest. I hesitate before committing to turning the handle the rest of the way. I could be making things infinitely worse by trying this. Uh... Olive, it's fine. Sorry. Oh. Determined to not spook Darren any more than I have to, I take a breath and turn the handle. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, this. Uh, whew. Whew. The room's almost entirely empty. But oh, sorry. My my mic stand is stop that. Stay there, thank you. The room's almost entirely empty, but it looks the uh, it looks the beginnings of a club meeting are, uh, are scattered all around the desks. The only occupant is near the back, scrolling through her phone with a frustrated look on her face. Well, that's a good start. At the very least, she stops what she's doing and makes her way over to us, so the fear of just being ignored outright is gone. I don't think she would anyway. There's no way Caprice would just ignore you. Do I even want to ask? <sighs> Nothing bad. I promise. Oh. Millie doesn't even know we're here. Oh, uh, wait. I recognize you. From that meeting last semester. Ah, uh, yeah. I see my reputation precedes me. Her dry delivery almost gets a laugh out of me. It's not the chipper caprice I recognized from our first art class together, but she's not the hostile one I was bracing for, either. Darren Baker. Caprice Shifton. Nice to meet ya. The two shake hands, and when Caprice returns to her natural standing position, she seems a bit more relaxed. If nothing else, Darren's helped break the ice perfectly. So what's up? The sky. Well, has Millie talked about the state of the club at all? Like, 
honestly. I know it's limping along. Why? Well, I'm just barely doing that anymore. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, I was wondering if you had any ideas on how to help. Since your club is managing fine, I mean. Looks around the room. Clearly managing fine. Caprice closes her eyes and tilts her head to the side a bit, as if trying to shake a thought out. <laughs> We're fighting, you know? I'm the last person you should be asking about this mm. stuff. Which is why you should know how bad it is, <laughs> seeing as how we're here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that kind of says a lot. An inhale. A few seconds. An exhale. Her head writes itself and her eyes open. Back when the art club started, it was just Allison, Eileen, and I. Right. Ours isn't really officially recognized by the campus, so I'm not sure if it's any different, but I think your numbers are probably fine, even if it's just barely. I've never seen her so serious before. No mincing words, no drastic shifts in volume, just her. So why doesn't it feel that way, do you think? Uh, yeah, I, th I think this is a, a quality versus quantity situation. I'm I'm genuinely of the opinion that if Heather just left the writing club and went to go join her friends instead wherever they've gone, then the the feeling in the writing club would immediately like the mood would lift instantly, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> At the end of the day, a club's just a group of people who share an interest and like being around each other. The first thing isn't even as important as the second. Yeah, that's that's the Heather problem. Millie has enough people to stay afloat, but they hate each other. It can't work like that. Yeah. And if we just made it so it was Millie, Olive, and I, it'd be a one-man show in a semester's time. Yeah. That's not an option, it's just a delayed death. Everything Caprice has said makes sense, but it really just makes things feel even more hopeless than before. Uh, pretty sure her friends graduated. Oh, wait, yeah, if, if she's, like, a year lower than everybody else, and then they all graduated, that that would make sense then. But at that point, like, I'm just... <laughs> Wouldn't it make sense to, like, spend your free time doing something you enjoy? Instead of just... Although, I, I, I don't know. Maybe that is what she enjoys, uh, antagonizing other people. Can she, can she antagonize another club, please? <laughs> huh... Olive? Yeah? Don't repeat what I'm about to say. If you do, I'll know. Oh? Yes, ma'am. Giving me a quick scan, she must find something in my posture to earn her trust as she begins to speak. What is this? Okay, I know how much the club means to her. I can't stand being in the same room as her right now, but I wouldn't ever try to take that away from her. If there's anything I could offer that help, I'd do it. Consider it a standing offer, even. But as is right now... I'm sorry. Uh... If anything comes to mind, I'll let you know. Promise. Okay. That says a lot, too. Because even though they're fighting, we now have confirmation that Millie loves Caprice. We now have confirmation that Caprice would do anything for Millie. We know it's. We know. We know we can resolve this conflict. It, somehow. Some way. I know. Thanks. Your secret's safe with me. <sighs> Millie's lucky to have both of you. Hey! Same thing to you. Not a word. My lips are sealed. Yes. O okay. <laughs> That's the caprice I know. Her, her sudden shift in volume causing Darren to jump. Even when I know to expect it from her, she manages to shock me, too. Good luck, you two. I mean it. Oh, I... <laughs> we nod and exchange our goodbyes, Caprice leaving us with a soft smile as we close the door behind us. The club is doomed. Things will get worse before they get better. But hopefully, at the end of all of this, Millie will have caprice. Ah! 
I hope so too. I hope so too. Hmm. A few days later. Ha. Huh. Mr. Bo, I love you. I love you. I love you. Didn't you already eat? Of course he did. He's always hungry. Feed him. <laughs> Don't believe his lies. If he tricks you even once, it'll be months before you get any peace. This is so true. This is the most true cat thing in the world. I've gone to the point now where if I ever make instant noodles, Tiffany expects a treat. Every time. Because usually when I'm making instant noodles, I'm going down to do it at like midnight. And when she comes to join me in the kitchen, I'm like, oh, you are so cute. You're keeping me company while I make noodles. I'm going to give you a treat. But it's now gotten to the point where she'll keep... Uh, she'll keep me company in the kitchen while I make the noodles. I will go to walk out of the kitchen and she just heads to her little treat cupboard where we keep her treats expectantly. She's, she, we've like made it a routine now where like I have to give her a treat when I have instant noodles. So it's actually, it's made me start eating less noodles because I don't want her to be too unhealthy having too many treats. I guess that's kind of good for me too. <laughs> It's not good to just eat instant noodles all the time. But it's become a thing now where, like, I I can't not give her a treat when I make noodles. I would just, I would feel so guilty. Right, yeah, I have to. I don't have a choice anymore. It's just, it has happened. It's it's become a routine. Oh, you fed your cat some of your fish once, and now they scream at you nonstop every time you make fish. Yeah, it's, it's always the way. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. It's, ah... Uh, <laughs> no, don't. Oh, don't do this, Mr. Mo. Look at that face. How can you resist that face? How, <laughs> How can you resist that? Oh, now the question. Did I train the cat or did the cat train you? I, I, I have not trained Tiffany. <laughs> it's not even a question. It is not a question. She trained me to give her a treat every time I make noodles. She fully did that herself. I, I didn't even realize until it got too late that she'd been training me the whole time. <laughs> He's weaponizing his face. Mr. Mo stares up at me, his eyes wide as saucers. He stretches out his body long enough to knead at my socks before rolling over on his stomach. He looks so hungry, though. <laughs> he is so hungry. Look, he's, he's clearly starving. He ate. <laughs> I'm wasting away. <laughs> You're doing voices for him? <laughs> I just need a little extra wet food to make it through the night. <laughs> just a, just a smidgen. Just a crumb. Just a tiny lick, please, I beg of you. I will not survive. I'm positively famished. Olive. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Looks like she's willing to let you starve. Doctor's orders, Mo. She jingles a small toy in his direction. A red shrimp filled with catnip and a bell tied around its tail. It hits the ground with a feeble chime. Ah, You made it so that Olive doing voices for Mo, putting the speech tail underneath Mo instead, like hours before we should. Oh, I'm so glad you did, though. It's like the best... Best thing, hold on. Olive. Sorry. Uh, you're doing uh, I'm, I'm wasting away. I'm wasting away. <laughs> you're doing voices for him? I love that so much. I just need a little <laughs> extra wet food to make it through the night. This is clearly Mo saying this. Olive. How could you be so heartless? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Looks like oh. she's willing to let you starve. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Thank you so much for pointing that out, too. I'm <laughs> Doctor's orders, Mo. I'm I'm so glad you did. It's it's how it should be. Oh, you can tell how impressed he is by that. Mr. Mo stares at the toy for a solid minute before making a slow, pathetic leap at it. His attempts at swindling a second dinner forgotten. You can't be such a pushover with him. That's why he's 
medically speaking, rotund. <laughs> rotund, I love that. He's so round, he's so round, I love it. But yeah, it's it's the kind of thing where like if if you if cats realize they can get away with something, they won't just continue to get away with it. They will keep pushing. They'll keep pushing their luck. It's the kind of situation where with Tiffany, she's really well behaved because we immediately put our foot down with some things. We are always like, this is not allowed. Like the counters in the kitchen, she is not allowed on the kitchen counters. We do not let her on the kitchen counters. If we come into the room and she's on the counter, she will quickly jump down because she knows she cannot be there. And if we let her stay up there, then she would just be on the counters the whole time. I know it. So it's... She knows what she can and can't do. She still tries to push it, but we don't let her. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I love that too. I love the way she says rotund. It's, it's, it's a very accurate depictor. It's, it's great. Lovely chunk. I won't go against his diet plan. Don't worry. No, they were just teasing you. <laughs> they were just teasing you, Millie. I will feel extremely bad about it, though. That's cats. Millie gives a resigned sigh. <sighs> <sighs> Me too. But as his parents, we have to be strong. Their roommates and parents? Oh my goodness. Oh. I'll try. Mr. Moe completes his hunt successfully, laying on top of his toy and purring loudly in the corner of the room. As his parents, huh? I look at the loaf fast asleep, his paws completely hidden under his blanket of fur. Millie shifts next to me, adjusting her braid and laughing, color reaching her face. <laughs> I love the little blush as she's just now realizing what she said. Sorry, was that weird to say? I just meant since we're both taking care of him and he. living together and dating. Uh. <laughs> She's embarrassing herself. Oh, this is so funny. I love her. Her face lights up with red and she flexes her fingers slightly as she mutters under breath, counting. We've jumped ahead a lot of steps before we've even, well, Anything, haven't we? Hello? Sorry, ignore my <laughs> earlier question. It's definitely weird. I see. I see. It, it's fine. I don't mind. A at all. I was just thinking it's cute. <laughs> They're both so awkward. It makes it so endearing. Cute? What do you mean, before we're even anything, though? We have been dating for a few months. Not we are, we have. She said, before we have... ...done... Don't worry about it. That doesn't count. I mean, like, well, we've been living together before we've even been on a date. A proper one. Oh. Wait, yeah. A proper date. In all of our escape plans, Millie had mentioned a lot of dates I was taking her on. To the zoo, to the movies, to a book signing event, even to more obscure, pr uh, obscure places like an espresso tasting door. It seems silly in retrospect that having a traditional romance was part of our whole act, yet neither of us really seemed to care about it. At least from what Millie's told me, it's just something that she thinks makes a good story. Still, may as well do things the right way. Little steps at a time. Let's have a date tonight. <gasps> oh, they're, they're so decisive. Millie blinks, surprised by my sudden introduction of plans for the evening. Butterflies flip in my stomach. The ability to say romantic things came easily when it was pretend, and has remained natural now that it's real, but the sudden, overwhelming shyness is impossible to power through. I instinctively adjust my glasses just a little too long to hide my face. <gasps> Will there be hand-holding? Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, am I ready? <laughs> oh, um, not that I don't want to, of course, <laughs> but we don't have to do this tonight just because I brought it up. It's not just that. Uh -huh. I want to have a date with you. I just realized I should have suggested it earlier. I love this so much. A smile finds its way to Millie's face. She leans back against the nearby counter, tilting her head to the side as she thinks. Hmm. Where should we go then? How about an espresso tasting tour? I glance at the clock on the wall, its hour hand creeping closer to four. It'd probably be hard to get any last minute reservations now, huh? I mean, depends on the place. Not that we could afford anywhere fancy anyway. Fake dating was really the best in that regard. Your dad must have thought I'm loaded with all the nights out we had. <laughs> Maybe we could do something here? Yeah, there's, there's nothing that says a date has to be a night out. Spending time at home, like, watch, watch a movie, get some cuddly blankets. Here? In the apartment? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to go out anywhere or anything? Is that okay? I, th I think Olive would also prefer that. I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. I just figured you'd be more into, oh. you know, bigger things. Fake girlfriend Millie's tastes are a <laughs> lot more expensive than mine. It's way harder to argue with someone who has plans to go out than it is to ask them to put off a cozy movie night. That is true. That is true. For for the goal of I can't do this because I have a plan, it does make sense to have like a an irrefutable plan. Guess I was a little bit off. Still, a cozy date night sounds like a dream. Then, at least let me prepare dinner for us. It's finally our first date. What the readers have been waiting for. I have to set the tone for the rest of the story and all that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh? You're such a romantic. Oh. Millie fixes a stray piece of hair, in the same movement looking herself over. Her brows knit together before she quickly bounces back to the present, giving me a heart-skipping smile. Well, I think I'll take the opportunity to go get us some refreshments. See you in an hour or two? <sighs> Sounds perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm after all of the the turmoil of the end of act two i really need a comfy comfy movie date night scene right now i'm i'm very i'm smiling a lot <laughs> i just hope it, nothing goes badly i just hope nothing goes wrong millie begins gathering things flitting from one shelf to the next as she grabs small trinkets she's left around the apartment from her phone to her wallet to her keys, she bounces to and from, putting them into her pockets. In the meanwhile, I start rummaging through my... our... fridge, trying to put a meal together in my head as I go. Key! Bye-bye! I hear Millie giving Mr. Mo pets and tell him not to beg me for any scraps while I'm cooking. After that, she leaves, the absence of the sound of the door locking reminding me once more that I need to get her a key. Pulling out a selection of ingredients from the fridge, I get to work. What are you cooking, Master Chef? The aroma of garlic, onion and bell pepper wafts through the kitchen as the vegetables complete cooking in the splash of seasoned olive oil. The shrimp, cooked on the side just in case, swim in a mixture of lemon juice and salt, their colour already a beautiful pink. I dump the fettuccine into the, uh, into the colander set up in the sink, ducking my head away from the steam as it billows up. Mr. Mo yowls in protest at my feet, the scent of seafood reminding him of how he's only eaten three bowls of food so far, he's starving! 
He's starving. How could you do this to him? He hasn't eaten in a million seconds. The food sizzles with renewed vigor as I put the leftover water and noodles into the vegetables, stirring it together as I move the pan across the flame. This sounds so good. I season the food all together once more, adding a bit more lemon juice as a final touch before covering the pan with a lid and turning the heat down low. Whew. <sighs> as confident as I am in this sort of cooking, the only other person I've tried cooking for really cooking for, not just as a job, has been my mom. Even then, it's usually the same few recipes that I already know she enjoys. For Millie, this is kind of a leap. A mindful one, I hope, but a leap nonetheless. As much as she's commented on wanting more seafood and how much she loves pasta, it's entirely possible she's not a fan of shrimp or bell peppers or even lemon. Still, my gut says that she'll like it. In a move completely unlike me, I've decided to trust it. Wow. Olive the logician. The one who always makes the plans and goes through things scientifically, trusting their gut. I love this. I wipe the sweat off my forehead. The setup was pretty quick, taking me less time than I expected. Checking my phone, there's no word yet from Millie either. I wonder if I still have those <gasps> candles mom left. Oh my goodness. I... Candles? Candle at dinner? I'm sure I have something to decorate with. Despite my mom's best attempts to get me to brighten up the place, I've been storing all the trappings into the hall closet and promising to get to it later. Better now than never, I suppose. <gasps> That's so pretty. <gasps> oh, I love fairy well, lights. Well, I did my best, Mr. Mo. What do you think? I love fairy lights so much. Oh, listen to that content purring. Me too. That's also what I think, Mr. Mo. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. The placemats at the table are definitely spring-themed. Pastel flowers and sun rays adorning the entire design. The candles are some cheap tea lights my mom left me for the holidays last year. And the only plates I have look lifted out of the early 80s. <laughs> the fairy lights around the room at least provide a nice ambience, sparse as they are. I think they're lovely. I am a big fairy light fan. I, I have some in my room. I have fairy lights in my room all year round. I, <laughs> I always keep them up. I've got them around one of the walls in my room. I've just got like a frame of fairy lights going around it. And I love them. I love them. They're very pretty. I don't have time to change my mind about it. Millie's familiar rhythmic knock sounds sounds from the door before she enters. It's unlocked state the norm for now. I'm home. <gasps> Millie with glasses. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. I turn around. And to my surprise, a bespectacled Millie closes the door behind her. She self-consciously adjusts her glasses when she meets my gaze, quickly breaking eye contact and darting her gaze towards the floor. Those contacts have been giving me a headache for ages. Figured now's as good a time as any to make a change, even if I look dorky. You don't look dorky, you look beautiful. Would you say Olive looks dorky? You're only saying that because they're glasses, but you wouldn't say that about Olive, would you, Millie? Would you? Maybe a little bit, but I say that as like a compliment. I like looking dorky. <laughs> <laughs> dorky, huh? <laughs> ah. <laughs> With an exaggerated frown, I remove my glasses and turn them over in my hands as if contemplating their destruction. Not used to seeing Olive without glasses too. That was 
interesting. Millie smiles, maybe, it's hard to see, and swipes them from out of my hands before placing them back on my face. They look a lot better on you. <laughs> they look good on you too, Millie. I see. Uh, what a shame. Guess I'm just a dork by nature. <laughs> you know that's not what I mean. He... Not that that's a problem either way. At least I have Mr. Mo. He would never criticize me. Would you, Mr. Mo? You would never. I assure you his meows at mealtime are not very kind. She turns to the table and places a brown paper bag on top, unfolding it in one smooth movement. It reveals two slices of cake. <gasps> she got cake. Oh my goodness. Eat with a glazed strawberry and vanilla buttercream. Ta-da! I brought dessert! They're from a bakery by my dad's shop. I couldn't let you have all the fun putting our date together. Oh, I love this. I love this. As she says that, she does look around the room, her eyes basically shining. As unimpressive as I thought it was, Millie exhales a content sigh. You really went all out, huh? Oh, there's a one in a hundred chance of a Mr. Mo wearing sunglasses popping up in the bottom left corner in that one olive line. <gasps> you have to mention it every stream or else no one would even know he exists. Oh my goodness, hold on. At least you know that's not- Hold on a sec. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Okay, just uh, no reason. At least I have Mr. Mo. He would never criticize me. I assure- Of course he wouldn't. Ta-da! You really went all out, huh? Yeah, they do. Ah! I wish I could do more. Can I take your jacket? Why did they say it like that? They said it like acting out a role in, a, in a, like a like a Hallmark TV drama or something. Uh, actually, um, could you turn around? Oh? Oh, I wonder if she got dressed up underneath her coat. Oh? Huh? Put a fancy dress on. Just for a minute. I... This is all so nice and thoughtful. At least let me have this. My heart leaps out of my chest. How am I supposed to react to that? I forget how to speak. Instead, I manage a stiff nod and turn around, closing my eyes for good measure. <laughs> I hear the sounds of her jacket buttons unclipping and realize as she moves over to the coat hanger that she must be wearing heels. After a few more moments and shuffling, she clears her throat. Okay, ready. <gasps> I knew it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Millie smiles before me, her eyes lighting up with the reflections of the candles on the table next to us and the string of twinkle lights above us. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. I mean, the glasses also match this outfit so beautifully as well. She looks so sophisticated. Her braid is twisted slightly, resting just behind her shoulder in a loose bundle and framing her face with a few loose strands. I'm really excited for our date tonight. Thank you for setting it up for us. Oh, this is so lovely. This is so lovely. You're gorgeous. Olive, thank you. I stopped home to, well, I, I just wanted to. <clears throat> she blushes, shaking her head and slightly squeezing my hands. <sighs> Shall we? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's not specifically the dress or her hair or even her glasses. As Millie is before me, 
Uh, as Millie is before me, it's the air of confidence and comfort that I've never seen that is making her so beautiful. There's a comfort and relaxation to it all, despite all the occasion, I think. I hope, and hope Millie feels it too. Oh, I think and hope Millie feels it too. I'm, I'm getting so... <laughs> Oh my goodness. As romantic as the night is, something about being able to share an evening together so intentionally and together is more important than any other reason. I pull out the chair for her and sit across from her at the table. Without further ado, I serve our plates and we have our first dinner taste. Oh, that's so lovely, that's so lovely. Oh, I love it. <sighs> I'm so full. That was amazing. Thank you for cooking. Oh, I love that so much. Sorry, I'm just gonna BRB again just for one second because I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm pretty sure it's like allergy related. I feel like I have something caught in my throat. And I feel like I need to cough to get rid of it, but I don't think that's going to sound nice. So I'm, I'm just going to like mute and be right back. Just hopefully like a, less than a minute. I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs> You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to make my tea flask very quickly. I'm gonna go put the kettle on. I'm gonna go make myself some tea. I'll be right back. Hold on, I'll, I'll put it on the screen so people know as well. But I, I, I think I need a hot drink at the moment <laughs> for my poor throat. I'll be right back.
Hello. I'm back. I'm back, I think. I swear that is like the just waiting for the kettle to boil is the worst part. <laughs> just stood there in the kitchen willing the water to boil faster being like I'm, I'm streaming I gotta get back to my stream it's taken so long I've I've filled my tea flask I've made my tea I have my my berry tea I have it and I'm gonna have a sip right now oh it's a bit too hot oh, <laughs> oops oh. Oh, that helps a lot. <laughs> that helps a lot. I, I should have done this sooner. I shouldn't have, like, tried to fight through it. Oh, this is so much better. Oh. All right. Back to the game. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> so sorry for the delay, but I've, I've returned. I have tea. I have tea. Yeah, I just need to remember to keep sipping on my tea. I'm, I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my tea flask where my monster can usually is. So when I like instinctively reach for my monster, my tea flask is in the way. So then I'll remember to keep drinking it. But yeah, I'm just, I'm having so much trouble with my throat today and I don't know why. Like, I'm pretty sure it's allergy related. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's allergy stuff, but it's really hitting me hard today. It was kind of hitting me hard yesterday, too. Mind you, I guess, like, me actually leaving the house yesterday probably didn't help as well. That may have made things a bit worse because I was I was walking to and from home, so... Might be that. <laughs> Might be that. Who knows? But Space Dinosaurus, hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, also, Lan, we're getting an actual Zelda game. Oh, my goodness. So not, like, an open-worldy type one, like like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. That's exciting. I know a lot of people who are going to be very excited about that. Anything else interesting from the Nintendo uh, thingy? I'll have to check it out myself afterwards, but... <laughs> oh, no. No, no, Zelda. Oh, wait. As Zelda? Wait, that's so cool. Wait, that's that sounds so cool. Oh, a new Mario and Luigi RPG. Wait, that's so cool. Like a playing a Zelda one. Wait, I'm so here for that. I'm so here for that. That's so good. See, it's so funny because in my mind, I just refer to every Legend of Zelda game as just, I just call it Zelda. So. <laughs> oh, it seems like there's exciting stuff. I I can't wait to check it out. Oh, goodness. My throat is so... Sorry, this is the the worst situation. I'm in a... The way my throat is at the moment is, like, it feels like there's, like, a big ball stuck in my throat. Like, not in a way that affects my breathing, but in a way that affects, like, my speaking. And, like, every time I'm speaking, it feels like there's something, like, wedged in my throat. And it's really weird. But there's nothing... That there is nothing in my throat, so I don't know why it feels like this. Oh, it's so strange. It's so strange. It's allergies, baby. I'm... I've... It's... Not, not the most helpful thing when I'm a streamer who needs to speak out loud. It's... Ugh.
the tea does help, but it's like a temporary help. Like it helps while I'm sipping it and then I'm, I'm back to having the ball stuck in my throat. I... Mm. Maybe I need a break today. I don't want to though. <laughs> I want to play twofold. I, I don't want to take a break. I'm, I'm going to see how things go a little bit more. I'm, I'm going to finish my tea. I'm going to try and finish all of my tea and see if that makes a difference. And if it doesn't, I may have to call it early, which just makes me even happier that I, I planned for tomorrow to play twofold again, <laughs> just in case. But I, I want to play more. I want to, I want to play more. I want to play so badly. Oh, it's so strange. Ugh. I'm gonna put on the BRB sign as I finish my tea. I'm still here, I'm just gonna mute my mic for a little bit. for the dice. <laughs> Poor things on my head. I, I, I really don't want to like call the stream early because I just really want to keep playing but I'm at the point now where it's like it's I feel like the thing that makes it feel worse is that like I don't feel ill. I don't feel unwell in a way that I I usually feel like well I feel like I have to end the stream now. It's literally just my throat. But my throat is... I keep thinking it's okay again, and then it, I just get that same feeling, and it's... It's not nice. <sighs> oh, I don't know what to do. I want to stream. Damn it. God, if, I, if I was playing anything other than a visual novel, it would be okay, because I wouldn't have to talk as much but a visual novel has a lot of reading uh i have more tea i'm having so much i i, I think i may have to end the stream early <laughs> I really don't want to. I want to play more. I want to play more so badly. I'm glad to have at least gotten the... the comfy date. I'm so happy to have the comfy date scene. I'm so happy I managed to see that. But I don't think it's getting better. And part of me is worried that, like, if I do more reading and talking, it might get worse. And then I won't be able to do tomorrow. So I think the best bet might be... Oh, it's horrible. If, if I end... I, I might have... I think I'm going to end the stream now. I'm going to end the stream here for today. So that I can spend the rest of the day looking after myself. And looking after my throat and not talking and resting. To make sure I'm, I'm in top form for tomorrow for the, the Bellflower Relay. Oh, but I'm I'm so... I'm so annoyed because I want I just wanna play. I love this game. I love it so much. I'm just 
really in a spot where I... Ugh. Save. Save. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have to look after myself. Gotta look after myself. Tomorrow's more important, because that's gonna have, like, the giveaways and stuff. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be having a little... a little giveaway for some games as well. Uh, anyone who knows me will probably be able to guess which games... <laughs> which games I am very enamored with. But, yeah, I, I think... It's like, I, I could feel it getting worse the more I was speaking, which is the main reason why I was like, I should go get some tea, I should try and see if I can help this, but it's, it's definitely getting worse the more I speak at the moment. So... I did save it right. Save again, just in case. <laughs> But yeah, I think I have to leave it for now. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sad because I want to play more, but I I need to, I need to look after myself. <laughs> it's one thing that I've I am getting better at. I am getting better at uh, looking after myself and being kind to myself, and taking breaks when I need to. But uh, yeah, I think I will leave it at that for now. But it's okay because I've got a stream planned for tomorrow. We've got the Studio Elan Bellflower Relay, which I'm really excited for because it's it's going to be really nice. It's our first like bellflower thing. But let me let me quickly post the the message to I'm a bellflower. I'm one of the bellflowers. I'm part of the ambassador program. You can get a discount in the web store. And we're all going to be playing games tomorrow. All one after the other. And we all have giveaways too, so it's worth being in all of the streams. Wink wink. Hee <laughs> hee. A good excuse to wake up early for people in the US. And stay up late for... I don't know, I feel bad. Like, time zone wise, it's really painful for anyone who's in like, Australia, Japan, Korea side of the world. Because it starts at like... <laughs> Like midnight time. It starts at like midnight and then just runs through the night until the the very early morning. But time zones are a pain. I think that the most interesting part was figuring out the time zones for the bellflowers. I love how I'm like, I need to rest my voice and I continue to sit here and talk. I'm silly. I'm a silly person. I need to stop. I'm just excited. <laughs> But yeah, it's the reason why Mari's first, because of her time zone. It's like, it's late night for her. So we were like, yes, you, you get the earliest spot. You, you get to go first in the relay. <laughs> and then it's me because I'm UK time. And then it's Nui because they have to wait until after work and after dinner. And then it's Dark Bender and then it's Rat. <laughs> so we made it work out time zone wise. But yeah, it's it's the reason why it's it's in the order it is. It we we made it work. We make it work. <laughs> but yeah, it's the perils of time zones. They are awful things. But yes, either way, with that, I shall bloop. I'm gonna head on over to here before I keep talking even more and make things worse. <laughs> but yes, I think I have to leave it at that for now. I'm excited for tomorrow though. It'll be good. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be posting about it a lot. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad we were able to make things work with the time zones as well. Uh, it would be funny to have people in time zones to make a full 24 hour relay. Honestly, like, just wait for wave two of the bellflowers. We could probably make it happen. <laughs> Between us all, we could probably make it happen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day not talking, trying to look after myself. So hopefully I will be in top form for tomorrow <laughs> but yes thank you so much everyone for joining me today i'm so sorry it's ended so abruptly like i feel like i only got to play the game for like an hour 
but at least like as well caps I see as well I was on track to finish Millie Act 3 today so yeah I think I'll be able to do that tomorrow I believe especially because with it being part of the relay I'm not gonna be just yapping on at the start for half an hour so <laughs> I believe I believe I'm excited but yes let's let's find someone to raid let's send send the love over to a raid who's around who's on On. I think there's there's a few people on like doing the uh what watching the Nintendo Direct. Wait, Mari's on. <laughs> Mari's online right now. Wait, I never get to raid her because of time zones. I'm sending the raid to Mari. Mari's playing Lost Ember at the moment. Oh, this is great. I'm so glad I get to, <laughs> I get to raid. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Here's the raid message. Twofold Tuesday Leary Raid. <laughs> Ready for tomorrow when I'm gonna get raided in return. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. I'm so glad I get the chance to raid. Let's send the raid over. I need to I need to stop talking. I need I can feel it getting worse. I need to stop. I'm gonna stop talking and finish my tea. But thank you so much for joining me. I'm so sorry it was cut short, but it's okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow, be there or miss out, I guess. I, I, I don't want to say like mean things. <laughs> be like, if, if you don't show up, you are insert insult. I wouldn't be able to do that. I would feel too bad for if anyone like genuinely can't make it, but it is going to be cool. It's going to be fun. I'm very excited. But yes, I rest now. <laughs> I rest, I promise. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today. And until next time. Bye-bye.